release party night and we are at the Slaughtered Lamb. Doors just opened and we've done sound check. We're up at 8.05. I'm getting used to sailing sky high and counting patchwork squares below. Cloudy's one of those people where we like we get along really super well. We've been on each other's radar for a while. We've shared a couple stages before. She was putting a mixtape together called Roots Without Borders. In all of the paperwork and admin stuff that she had to do for it, uh, we realized that we have our two singles coming out on the same day. And originally I didn't even think about a release party because I've it's been so long since I've done something like this. It's like the last time I did this was 2013 in Canada. So my original idea was just we should get together on Friday and you know like go out for cocktails, hang out all day and go all over socials and just bully people into listening to our songs. I had loads of freedom in this show that I was putting on with Lorraine for my track. So I just said to her, look Joey, do you want to come and do this? And let's do it together as a joint single release uh, because that could be something really special. And it just like instantly clicked and we're like, yeah, yeah let's do it. This is going to be great. Oh, Ooh. Yeah, it's one strings on that. Do you want me to stand up? No, don't worry, it was my... I'll copy the vocal over cool. and uh, cool. we'll just do one with the keyboard. Yeah. And, uh, Sorry. Sorry. And we'll be fine. People on social media lie to you all the time. So you know how we have our young people that are so impressionable and they pick stuff up and they've got all this pressure to be the perfect person, you know, have the perfect life, look the perfect way, all of this stereotype and all these issues that are being sort of portrayed and conveyed through this spectrum of social media. So it's about kind of saying, well, hey, look, these people, this is only a five minute or not even that, a five second snapshot into their life. You don't see their 24 hours, you just see a really highly edited version of what it is that they want to put out into the world. And a lot of it's not real and it's not reflective of their true self. So it's about sort of disregarding that and thinking, hmm, I am who I am. If you're not kind of trying too hard to please people, you're going to have a happier time in life. biggest influence has been Katie Tunstall because I've loved her since I was nine years old. Her first album, I should say, uh, Eye to the Telescope, was the first album I ever bought for myself with my pocket money that I saved up. And so really that sort of female empowerment that you get from watching another woman strum in a really percussive way and sing songs that she's written um, about life and about, about the things that she sees, that was really inspiring to me and always has been. So yeah, she's the number one for me. A guy called Cy Connolly who's actually supporting us tonight, um, which is going to be kind of crazy, but his shows always are so inspiring. did his first show back uh, in a year and I went, I went and helped out and did, sort of got as involved as I could and I left that show thinking I need to go and do some music right now and so the rehearsals and stuff that I've, we've had for this gig have been really inspired by him. We might have to do like a slightly short of the shorter because my breath is hard right now I'm like I don't think I have that in me I'll go flat. <laughs> That's right place, right? I feel like it's not tonight. <laughs> I feel like we've done so much work and now I'm like, oh, is it actually, this is happening right now. <laughs> I 
saw Mumford and Sons at All Points East. The moment that everybody started singing Little Lion Man uh, instantly made me well up and start crying and I just looked up at the stage at this like huge sound and this this huge presence and thought like that is why we do music and that's that's why I'm gonna continue doing music to hopefully well to definitely get to that point. <laughs> uh, we're really excited to be here. Like I can't believe it's already this night. Thank you so much to everybody who's in the audience right now for taking the time to come out and share this with us tonight. We really appreciate it. My name is Joey Clarkson and this is the music to sort yourself out which is out at midnight. <laughs> This one's a lot more rock heavy than any of the other songs on the album, which is why we chose it for the summer single. Uh, it's pretty just like in your face, out there. It's about empowerment and kind of getting back to doing what's best for yourself rather than getting caught up in the rest of the world and how they perceive you should do things. So it's just about making the positive choice for yourself, regardless of whether or not that was the choice you originally set out to make. For me, it's like this ongoing journey. This is a lesson that I keep relearning. I commit to things and I am so stubborn that I don't want to give up the thing that I committed to uh, because I'm afraid it will make me look like I failed. But uh, when you start to really assess where you're going in life and whether or not that's going to positively affect your life anymore. I think it's important to like kind of just check in with yourself and reassess and decide whether or not you should actually continue on the route you're you're going down because plans change and things change and better things are out there. Was amazing. Joey was amazing. Oh, amazing. 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 <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm a sucker for drifting. Yeah, you like Because I, yeah, I just, I, well, I feel like that one's really relatable okay. to me as well because I do drift around quite a bit yeah. and just like making a commitment is hot and it's hard scary. and scary. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that one's really relatable and I just love how it feels. But it reminds me of like my favorite 90s scene like a favorite 90s okay. movie scene like, I, would I feel like that. yeah that I don't know how to like you. that feeling you get when you watch that kind of movie that's what it yeah. gives me like there's this raspy thing that your voice does when you're like going for those big choruses that I'm just like yes give me more <laughs> I don't think we could have asked for a better audience Definitely honestly not. I'm so happy the amount of people who were there and the fact that they were all listening and they just took the time to share their time with yeah. us. yeah and you know what's great as well as when there were quiet songs you it was quiet in the audience. Yes. Oh, yes. Awesome. Because you, you, oftentimes you don't get that, but obviously. I, I would pay to have that. <laughs> yeah, I really would, but yeah. you know, it worked out. Oh, yeah.